So, brought out the Santa hat again, because you know what? Feeling Christmassy. Okay, that's a lie. I haven't washed my hair in three days. Also wearing Christmassy pajamas. Look how awesome these pants are. And also listening to Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas Is You on repeat. And my off-key singing really adds that certain special Christmas magic. Hello everyone, I'm here to share with you guys my annual buy or buy Christmas beauty set edition. And I made sure that everything is either in stock or it's being restocked or you can find it somewhere online. Or at least it is the day that I'm filming, which is currently Monday and this is going up Thursday. So, so hopefully it doesn't sell out in like, what, like three days? So I will put links to all the products in the info bar below in case you guys are interested in purchasing it for yourself. I've tested a whole bunch of different beauty gift sets from drugstore, online only, to Sephora, Nordstrom, all those different places. And I kind of lumped, categorized them as sort of like the best ones and the ones that I did not love so much. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And for those of you that are new to my bio buys, I will put a playlist to all of my buyer buys in case you're interested. But the way that I typically do them is I rate everything on emoji scales out of five particular emojis that tend to go with sort of the theme of whatever I am reviewing. And this time we're going to do Christmas trees because it's Christmas just makes sense. And without further ado, let's get into some Christmas edition beauty sets. I don't even know where to begin. There's so many good sets. I'm just staring at my lap being like, I don't even know what to start with. So let's switch up for a second from this four products and we'll go into ColourPop first. They're Minis Lip Kits. And the one is uh, the Good Times Mini Ultra Matte Lip Collection. And the other is On A Whim, which is their Mini Ultra Satin Lip Collection. The price point is $18 American or $24 Canadian. They're just a nice little gift. You can add it as a stocking stuffer or gifts for friends or something like that. Or they're really great for yourself if you want to just test out a whole range of different ColourPop options. Um, I think these are a great set and highly recommend them. Next up is the Estee Edit Gritty and Glow Magnet Eyes and Face Palettes. This right here is the Glow Kit. I talked about the Gritty Kit as one of my November favorites. I love both of them. They're super rich and pigmented. This one is all of its the beautiful shimmery golds and those beautiful warm shimmery blushes. And then we got some nice um, bronzy tones. You can use these for the eyes, for the face just for highlight anywhere. They're really beautiful, beautiful products. The gritty one is a mixture of very nice wearable neutrals as well as some really nice pops of color. I swatched all of those products in the November favorites in case you guys are interested, um, but I think these are a beautiful, beautiful duo. For whatever reason, I only wrote down the Canadian price, which is $70, so it would be less than that in American, if that makes sense. But you get two palettes for that price, which is awesome. And also, I find that it's really, really easy to dip your brushes into these ones as well. Well, I find sometimes with some palettes, it's really tricky. You have to like be, you know, like a surgeon to try and like get in there with your brush and try and get only the one color that you want, but not with these. It is very, very easy. Highly recommend it. Next up is the Marc Jacobs Up All Night Lip Cream Collection. And there's a couple of reasons that I love this. First of all, I love this packaging and I love this little kit and it's so pretty. And look, it has a tassel. And inside you get five minis of their Marc Jacobs Lip Creams. And they are, whoop. <laughs> They're falling out all over the place because I, I just wore them. But the selection is really nice in here. They go from really nice neutral colors to dark, bold colors. This is $42 American, $65 Canadian. I really like them. They're hydrating. They're very, very creamy and pigmented. Beautiful color selection. Love this kit. The next product I want to share with you guys is actually a makeup bag, and I fell in love with this makeup bag. I think it is beautiful. It is by Sephora. This one is only available actually on the Canadian website. I don't know why it's not available on the US website because this is gorgeous. Um, but it's got this beautiful glitter thing going on on the front because you know, I love me some good bling. Look at my nails, it matches. And then when you open it up, everything is in mesh. So it's really, really easy to clean. You have nice deep pockets on either side. And then on the middle, you have an area to put your brushes. So you, it's actually, this is actually upside down. So you stick all your brushes in here. You get to protect them with this nice little flap. Again, very easy to clean. It is $48 Canadian. I love it. I would totally get this for Christmas. I think it's fantastic. Next up is a product that's only available on the US website. And that is the X in the City Formula X Nail Polish Kit. And I really like this for a number of reasons. Number one, the Formula X uh, nail polishes in here are super duper pigmented and beautiful. I'm actually wearing some on my nails right now and they're stunning. Underneath I'm wearing Perfection, which is this nice muted tone. And then on top we had to go with some bling and this is in Epiphany. Really nice bronzy shimmer, but beautiful, right? Oh my gosh, I can't stop looking at my nails. And the other reason I liked it is while there are 10 mini nail polishes in here, you can actually separate it out and give these as little mini gifts, stocking stuffers, things to friends and family, whatever, um, like this. And it has 
a to and from on the back, which is super smart. Love good marketing like that. I think that's a fantastic idea and a great way to sort of split it up and make it like a gift for four different people instead of just for one. Or if you really, really love someone, you just give them the whole kit. Like myself, I'm gonna give this to myself. This is $18.25 American, and I think this is a really, really great kit. Next are the NARS Narcissist Unfiltered Palettes, and these have just launched and they've been selling like hotcakes. It's insane. This is the um, Unfiltered 2 palette. I also love the Unfiltered 1 palette. I think they are beautiful, super blendable, and wearable. I know that currently they are sold out on the Sephora website, but they are restocking. I know that, so stay tuned. Like, look out for these and maybe add your email address so you know when they're going to be restocked. They're in true NARS form, just very, very pigmented, beautiful, and rich, and gorgeous on the cheeks. I'm wearing a mixture of these two colors right now, and just, I can't, I can't stop wearing them. They are gorgeous. They're pretty pricey at $59 US or $76 Canadian, but you're getting six different NARS blushes and a good sized amount too. Like it's not teeny tiny. Um, so you can fit a nice like blush brush in there without kind of swiping a whole, a whole bunch of different colors at once. Plus you got a nice mirror in there. It's a nice, good, solid, hefty packaging as well, which I really appreciate. And I just overall really like this palette. Next up is a drugstore option. And this is by NYX and this is their Wanderlust Lip and Eye Collection. And they have a bunch of different different ones from a variety of different cities. And there's like Paris, London, I think Madrid, uh, Copenhagen and Vancouver. There's just a bunch of different places. And each set contains eight different eyeshadows and then one coordinating lip cream. Now I'm gonna say right off the top, I love the NYX lip creams. They are gorgeous and really, like I highly recommend, like regardless of in the kit or not, you need to go out and like go swatch you some because they are amazing. But in terms of the actual kits themselves and the eyeshadow quality, I think it's a hit or a miss. So for example, this one is the London one, I believe, and I love it. I think it's beautiful wearable, easy to blend out. But on the other hand, I didn't love Vancouver as much. I just found it to be a little bit more on the chalky side. It didn't blend out as nicely on me. They're currently sold out on the NYX website, but they are available at Ulta.com. So if you are interested in purchasing them, you can go and check them out there. They're $14.99 US each. So a nice budget friendly option. And I think overall, a lot of them are really nice. Next up is a kit that is only available on the Too Faced website right now. I think it's sold out at Sephora, but it is, it does ship to um, the US and Canada. And it's the Melted Mary Kiss Miss the ultimate liquefied lipstick set and inside you get four minis of their melted liquefied lipsticks which you guys know I'm obsessed with I love them it comes with three of their originals as well as one matte and it's got a nice range of colors in it as well it retails for $25 US or $32 Canadian but I think it's just a really nice way to test out a whole bunch of different um, melted products if you've never tried them before you're going to love them I really really enjoy them um, but it's also a nice gift to give to friends or family next is another drugstore option and I couldn't find it anywhere sold online. I think you can only find it now in Target stores, but I had to include it because they are beautiful. And it is the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen Kit. So it contains five of their different silky eye pens and they are incredible. I have never tried them before until I got this kit and I started swatching them and playing around with them. They are super waterproof, smudge proof. They last all day. They're really, really pigmented. I will say for the waterline, they do smudge a little bit, but they're not too bad and overall, just a really good drugstore option for eyeliners. So if you're looking for some good eyeliners or you know someone who is, I think this is a great set if you can find it in the Target stores. And the last of like the best gift sets that I wanted to talk about today is the Kat Von D Everlasting Mini Liquid Lipstick Set. From what I found, it's only available on the Sephora US for 49 bucks and it is still available. There are eight minis, so they're about this big. I'm wearing this color on my lips right now. It is gorgeous. And this is in the shade which is a deep russet red, but there's a nice range of colors here. Ones that you can experiment with, ones for every day. It's a really good formulation. I did notice on the Canadian website, they have a duo. So it's like a, a purpley tone and then sort of a mauve pink, which is really, really pretty as well. And that's $25. So if you are interested in testing them out, they do have an option uh, for Canadians as well. Um, but if you are American, I highly recommend going and checking this out. And now onto the products that I just wasn't in love with. Think like two Christmas trees out of five, you know, sort of like the like the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. You know, like before they gave it all the love. Some of them are worse than others. There's some that I actually kind of liked, but there were parts of it that I didn't love, so I didn't want to include it in my like my favorites. Um, so I will talk about that a little bit, but these just, you know, just didn't work out so well for me. So the first one I want to talk about is a drugstore option. It's by Pixie. It's the Ultimate Beauty Kit 3rd Edition Face Kit, and it has like a bunch of different eyeshadows in it. It has face products in it, blushes, highlights, everything. 
and it's just not, it's not very pigmented at all. They are chalky, they don't swatch well, they don't go on the eyes well, especially because I tested these out right after the eyeliners and I was so excited about the eyeliners, so I was like extra disappointed that this didn't work out as well for me. Next up is this sort of like all-in-one Sephora kit and actually quite honestly, I do like it. There are certain things that I did not like about it though, so I wanted to talk about those. So first of all, what's kind of cool about it is they have, you know, the highlights, they have the blush, they have brows as well as eyeshadows all in this one little kit that's nice and um, travel size. It's really cute. It's got all the glitter on the outside. The shadows themselves are nice and pigmented as well, which is good. What I don't love about it is the shape. It just makes it really hard to like get in there and actually like you know, brush some of the products onto your eyes, especially this blush, unless you have a really tiny blush brush, as well as the highlights. They're the like tiny little triangles. And so unless you have like a really small highlight brush or you're only gonna use it on the inner corner of the eyes or on the lids or something like that, it just made it really difficult and you kind of have to manipulate the brush to kind of get in there. But it is $16 US or $20 Canadian, so it is a pretty good price point. So if you're willing to do a little extra work with your brushes to kind of make this work, the products themselves and the actual formulation are really nice. Another kit that I wasn't super impressed with is by Benefit and it is their Kissy Missy Fully Equipped Lip Kit. And inside they have two of their lip and cheek stains as well as their Their Real Double the Lip Lipstick and Liner in One products that they recently launched, I wanna say in the last year. So first of all, I think these are full size and these are just the minis, but it's a good mini size if you like their lip and cheek stains. I don't personally love it as a formula. I don't love it. I find it to be difficult to manipulate on the face. Um, and I was testing these out for the first time and I was really excited about them and I just didn't find them to be super pigmented and I didn't notice a huge difference between like the liner tip and the actual lipstick themselves. They just didn't work very well for me. I just wasn't super impressed with them. I would personally go for the kits. If you're going to go for some benefit products, I would go for the kits that have like the, uh, the roller lash in them or their, their advent calendars are fantastic. They have a huge range of different products if you want to test out benefit products for the first time. This one in particular just wasn't a hit for me. I wasn't in love with it and I just didn't think it was worth the money. And the last product that just was kind of a hit or a miss for me is by Too Faced since their chocolate shop cocoa infused sort of Christmas in New York kit. So inside you get three minis. One is their Better Than Sex Mascara, their Shadow Insurance, and then their Melted Lipstick and Chocolate Milkshake. All of them are really, really beautiful. It's the eyeshadows that were sort of hit or miss for me. I do like that this year they did this beautiful grand display that's like super fantastic. But this little palette right here, you can actually pop it out so like it's a normal size palette. The one thing I do love is the smell of it. It smells like cocoa powder and I'm kind of in love. Some of these shades are beautiful. They're very rich and pigmented. They go on smoothly onto the eyes. And then other ones, it's just they're really chalky and they didn't blend out really nicely. And I just didn't have a lot of success with them. Like it's sort of like the Sephora palette that I talked about. It's not terrible. It wasn't the worst product I talked about. Um, it's it's definitely up there sort of like in the three and a half Christmas tree to the five, you know? It just wasn't my absolute favorite of all the products that Too Faced is selling for Christmas. And that's everything for this super long-winded video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. And don't forget to check out my playlist for more buy or buy videos. Hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful Christmas season and a wonderful week. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.